how hard is it really to get in to ABE at Purdue? Hi guys, my name is Rhea Miglani. I am a biological engineering student here at Purdue. My cameraman, Brian Park, is right over here. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about showing you ABE building, which is the Agricultural and Biological Engineering building at Purdue, which is my major's building, and I come here all the time for all of my classes. Without further ado, show you around. Over here is the food science building, right neighboring the ABE building. This is where I went into labs for my soybean competition where I won $10,000. Bunch of labs in here. It's a little bit of an older building, but this one, it was actually established in 1929. It was actually recently renovated in 2020 school year. So very new and can't wait to show you inside. VOs, which is really easy to go to class if you wanna borrow a scooter if you're running late. So how often do you come to this building? Like every day or every... I come to this building almost every day. I have all of my classes in here and then one in the horticultural building, which is actually the building right over the food science building. And then down here are animal science buildings as well. There's also a greenhouse right next to it. So it's a lot of agricultural building because this building used to be just agricultural engineering, not agricultural and biological engineering. And then biological was added because obviously there's other interdisciplinary fields that they wanted to establish. Come kind of nice. So pretty. Here are all the donors that I gave the money to actually do this. John Deere. John Deere is one of them. That all used to be like tractors and soil, and then they made this into like a bioengineering building as well. Caterpillar donated. This is where we sit down, lounge before our classes, right over here. A bunch of students working, so they're probably gonna keep looking at me. Let's go upstairs. This is just where a lot of people do their homework in between classes. Also over here. And then over here is just like the faculty and staff suite. So all of our ABE professors are mainly around this area. Okay, right over here is the vending machine. We got some drinks. We got some Cheetos, Sun Chips if you want, after a really long, tedious lab. Some Twix, great chocolate, you know, increase the blood sugar, it's great. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bio engineering, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious. Does the snacks like those, does it actually help you for the short term positive effect? Or? I don't eat any of that. Okay. Sugar is like the worst thing you can do for your body. Mm -hmm. The number one longevity drug yeah. is sleep. Okay. These are my classmates. So. These are my BE classmate fellow friends. Okay. They're really smart. Right. Yeah. We do great. Flu yeah, they're studying right now. They are having Java House. What are you having for Java House right now? Blackberry mango smoothie. Nice. Oh, is it good? It is. It's fire. Five Amazing. out of what? Five out of five. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. How do you like your major? It's awesome. All right, and honestly, the best thing about this building is the Java House because I come here every single day. I spent a little too much money on it, but it's so good. I have the iced chai. I can do a little review afterwards as well because that's an excuse to get more. So this is the Student Academic Center for where all my advisors are, where we schedule a bunch of classes. This is the Academic Program Suite. We are in the Academic Advising area right now, and here is Dan Taylor. Hi. Um, he's assistant to the department head, and he's just gonna tell you a little bit more about ABE. He recruits for people who are ABE, so if you're interested in it, he's gonna yeah. tell you. So Ag and Bioengineering, we, we are a, a very old department, been here since 1920s, but our building is just brand new. So five years we've been in here. And um, we are a, a very broad department. We're so one of those engineering programs that has three different, very different majors. So we have biological engineering, agricultural engineering, and environmental and natural resource engineering. So um, what else do you yeah. want to know? That's great. Yeah, why should students choose Purdue, um, specifically ag and bioengineering? Yeah, so one of the things I really like about ag and bioengineering is we're a small kind of close-knit group. So um, the, our largest program, biological engineering, we graduate about 70 students a year, so very small. And then our other ones, ag and environmental, it's closer to 20 to 30 students a year. So it, it is uh, very small and really gives you an opportunity to do a lot of hands-on stuff. So 
Um, every class we teach, other than our like one credit hour seminar classes, has a lab with it. And, and it's the same faculty member that teaches class, lecture, that teaches lab. So that makes it very unique as well. Since you're in the back end of everything, how hard is it really to get into ABE at Purdue? Well, let's see. So I would say if you really want in here, <laughs> we'll try to let you in here. So we're not one of the capped programs, if that's what you're asking. On the other hand, um, it's a rigorous program. So you have to do well. And if we're talking to high school students, that yeah. means you have to do well in your <laughs> classes and, and take rigorous classes, you know, calculus and physics and chemistry and do well in them. Um, but then, yeah, yeah, I encourage you to apply. We we need more students. Yes, and aren't we number one in bioengineering? Well, right definitely now? at the grad level, we're number one. Okay. <laughs> grad level, we're one for a long time. But uh, this latest ranking, they made a big mistake. I know, they did. So move forward, we're getting number one next year. But we're in the top five. <laughs> yes. So yes, awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank it's you. It's good to meet you. Right, thank you so much. Yeah, you thank bet. You. So I actually did the student soybean competition, which is right over here. So this is the innovation competition if you're really interested in entrepreneurship. And we created a soybean shampoo bar. So if you're really interested, this is one of the perks of being an ABE student is you can make some money while you study and get like a lot of lab experience. So it was really fun. So this is the lab that I have like this is just basically the lab room. So I have all of my lab classes over here. We have just like a bunch of beakers. And these are valves for our actual lab that we have to do today. These are the lab benches. Here we have like all the materials that we need. This is like for like aseptic technique. Uh, people per class in this classroom? Um, I would say about like 25, yeah. We only use like primarily these two benches. We have a bunch of beakers. This is for our heat transfer lab that we have to do as well. We have a bunch of lab procedures and it all happens in this lab building. And actually one time for one of our labs, we had to actually collect um, bacteriophages, which was really interesting from soil. We got to actually put it in a database of where all the phages were. So. When you're doing the experiment, the experiment mm -hmm. from here, is it actually uh adaptable to the real life solution? Yeah, I would say so. I think these are just where you get the bioengineering techniques. So like the aseptic technique that we have to actually go through, learning how to use different types of tools for different types of products. So they're all applicable to real life and like the industry, like the things you have to do in manufacturing and different types of companies, so. I did a sophomore year and we had to actually do phage and then we have a phage name, um, the phage purified, which one it is, and then the titer calculation, which is super interesting. And then we did a DNA um, extraction concentration and this is in our biotechnology lab. And when you're doing the laboratory here, how many hours are you spending per week? I would say it depends on the um, class that you're in. For a junior, I would say um, I'm only spending about two hours per week because we only have one class, which is the ABE 302 lab. But last semester was definitely a lot more. And then you can also sign up to do research with a professor. And that can be in either this lab or any labs around. Okay, so this is where I have every single one of my AB lectures, especially as a junior, everything is in this building. So this is a large lecture room, which holds pretty much everyone in our major, and they actually distribute all of their content slides in every single TV in this room. As you can see, there's so many TVs. This is also another class on the first floor, and this is where I had my soybean competition pitch that I had to do in front of the dean and other farmers as well. And it was really fun, very nerve wracking, but it was a lot of fun. It's a really great room as well. Everything seems so new. People just have study groups here before a big exam. Uh, there's so much open space, which is why I love the ABE building so much. And it's very underground. Not that many people know about this building because it's so new. Okay, now we're gonna go downstairs. 
Okay, we're down here. This is the garage. This is where a bunch of tractors are. I have never had anything in this area, but I think it's primarily for agricultural engineers. What can we say more about this building from the outside? Yeah, so over here we have just basically just like looking into the classes, very wide windows, brick building, parking garage right over here. So if you have a car, it's super easy. I actually have a scooter and I scooter to class every day. So uh, I have like 8.30 classes. So I only have to wake up at like 8.15, quickly brush my teeth and like scooter over here. Um, in the rain, it's really bad because I have fell down here going to my like thermo class but it's fine um, so originally i wanted to be a food science major and i switched majors because i wanted to do something more broad and bio and not just narrow myself down into food but i toured this greenhouse and it was actually really cool there's this to it but we'll see if it's open <laughs> What's up? Brian. Yes. So how did you like the building? So as a first semester student in Purdue and as the uh, unmanned aerial systems major, I do not have any way to come here because I don't have a reason to. But uh, it was great seeing the, the innovated, uh, renovated building. Uh, thanks Ria for showing me around. There's a lot of cool tech. Uh, I mean, especially there was a drone in the, the, the very bottom floor because I know that the, using the drone is much more efficient to spray the pesticides to the really large uh, farmland, you know? Honestly, I don't know anything about bio stuff. As a drone major, it, it can uh, utilize many things from the other majors too. Yeah. Where's, what is your channel? Where can people find you? So my channel is Dario Brian Park. I'm on pause for the video, but when I get actually get into the brotherhood, I will have more time. Then I can make more videos. Okay. Yeah, Phi Kappa Sigma. <laughs> All right guys, that was the building tour. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please comment down below or DM me on Ramaglani at 10 on Instagram and I'm happy to help. Um, if you stay this far and you want more videos like this in different buildings, comment down below Purdue and we'll try to make that happen for you. Thank you so much. Bye.